In this video, I'm going to show you a technique you can use in C to activate and deactivate code that's intended for debugging. So here we have an example program that's doing some work with an array. And what it's doing doesn't really matter that much, but we'll go over it briefly. We're declaring an array with 10 elements in it. We're doing some work with those elements. So here we're multiplying them all by five. And then down here, we're summing the elements and outputting the result. And we would say that all of this code here is really the actual purpose of our program. This code here is intended for debugging. So after we've done some work with the array, we output all of the values in the array. And programmers often throw this sort of code into their programs to figure out what's going on. Sometimes they'll comment them out when they no longer need them. So they'll put slash star and star slash around them. So this code is just sort of momentarily taken out of the program. There's a technique we can use to activate and deactivate segments of code like this that are intended for debugging. So right now, if I were to run the program, we are gonna get the output of the array elements. So we get all the array elements from zero to nine output because that for loop is running. What we could do to optionally run this is use what are called preprocessor directives. So here I'm gonna say, if def debug output, and then here, I'm going to say, and if. So these are both what are called preprocessor directives because they're going to run before our program is compiled. They're actually a pre-compilation step in the compilation of a C program. And what we're doing here is we're saying, if the constant debug output is defined, include this in the source code that's compiled. Otherwise, do not. So right now, if I save this and run it, we're not gonna get the array output. We just get the sum that we're gonna say is the real purpose of our program. If I were to define debug output, then this would be included in the source code that's compiled. So up here, if I say number define debug output, and I'll just say maybe zero, if I save this now and run it, we are gonna get the output of the array elements. And that's because this preprocessor directive recognized that debug output was defined, and therefore it outputs this block of code here in the actual compiled source code. So this is how we could actually activate and deactivate segments of code like this that programmers often write when trying to debug our programs. And I should mention that there's nothing stopping us from using this preprocessor directive multiple times so here I could say number if def debug output, and we'll have a printf with an additional output statement. And then we'll have our end if directive as well. And again, now if we save this and run it, we're gonna get the additional output statement being output because debug output is defined. So we could use this technique in multiple places in our program. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.